Discomfort is a term that is used for any negative impact on the welfare of laboratory animals, like pain, hunger, stress, boredom or loneliness. It is part of animal experiments. To acquire knowledge or test medicines, it is sometimes necessary to operate on animals or to make them ill. Their housing can also be an issue, as well as environmental factors like temperature and noise. Animal discomfort should be avoided or minimized where possible. External examination of an animal is not an animal experiment. If, in research or education, more intervention is necessary, reaching the discomfort level of the insertion of a needle or beyond, it is legally an animal experiment, which requires a license. Before applying for a license, one must estimate the expected discomfort level so that an ethical assessment can be done. European legislation distinguishes four categories of discomfort – non-recovery, mild, moderate and severe. The first category, non-recovery, means that the animal is put to sleep for certain procedures and never wakes up. The discomfort level remains low. The second category is mild discomfort. This is slight pain, suffering or anxiety, caused by such as an injection or a period of hunger or thirst. The third category is moderate discomfort, a moderate degree of pain, suffering or anxiety, such as recovering from surgery or receiving chemotherapy. Mild discomfort that lasts for a longer time or is repeated can also count as moderate. The highest category is severe discomfort, a high degree of pain, suffering or anxiety, like heart failure or stroke. Moderate discomfort that lasts for a longer time or is repeated can also count as severe. How to estimate discomfort when writing an application? Check which procedures in the experiment will cause discomfort. Use the analogy principle. Oh. If it hurts you, it probably hurts other vertebrates. Check what is known about discomfort in this type of experiment. Check welfare evaluations from previous experiments. Don't forget to make an estimation of the percentage of animals that will reach each discomfort level. During an animal experiment, you always follow the work protocol, which says how and how often the animals should be monitored. You can use a score list of clinical symptoms and always be alert to extra signs of discomfort. Record all your observations in detail in the welfare log. If there is unexpected discomfort, immediately consult other experts and take action. When the experiment is finished, you always write a welfare evaluation. It will be useful for optimizing future experiments, including limiting the discomfort.